So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and on 8th December 2020, this blog post appeared on CentOS blog and uh, this basically just meant the death of CentOS operating system. Well, cent the OS stands for operating system, but anyway. So a lot of you might know about CentOS being a very popular operating system built on top of Linux for servers, web servers, right? But uh, not a lot of people might know about Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which is the enterprise version of Linux from the Red Hat company, <clears throat> which comes with a support license and some proprietary things in the Linux distribution. But CentOS operating system is a very close, almost one-on-one -on -one matching of the RHEL, that is the Red, Hi Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So this means that CentOS, although it's free and open source, comes with the production level and enterprise level standards of Linux, right? So it started off as an independent project in 24, I guess, 2004, but it was bought by Red Hat in the year 2014, right? And once you have a big company above you, you know, you can focus more on the open source project, which the team did. But uh, what happened initially that in 2019 actually sent to a stream project was released and uh, now they have just decided to discontinue CentOS in general. By this what we mean is that CentOS Linux 8 which is the latest version of CentOS which is a rebuild of Red Hat Enterprise Linux just like I said it is almost one-on-one -on -one mapping with Red Hat. The support will end at 2021. Although the support for CentOS Linux 7 continues till 2024 and the reason for this is that Red Hat, the RHEL, applies a support, supplies a support for 10 years um, from the date of release. So 7 was released in 2014, that is why it is supported till 2024, both CentOS and Red Hat Enterprise. But RHEL 8 will be supported till 2029, but CentOS will be discontinued in 2021. This is an obvious move to, you know, just make sure that the industries and enterprises which are running, you know, CentOS in production should shift to RHEL um, if they want to have an enterprise level sort of security when the time is up, right? After 2021, because they will not be shipping updates and patches and security patches to the Linux distribution. Now, a lot of people were not very happy with this decision. So here comes in picture the Rocky Linux. <laughs> so it's just a name as of now, you know, the, if you go to this repository, you're gonna see it actually has a 6,000 stars. I'm, I'm just gonna start it as well. But it is just a name at the moment, but you're gonna see that the, the people behind the Rocky Linux are the ones which have created CentOS, right? So, so Rocky and Gregory were the founders of CentOS, right? So if you if you read this message, you're gonna understand about that. So the co-founder of CentOS is creating another free open source enterprise level distribution operating system built on top of Linux, which is named Rocky. Because you know we all know that CentOS is dead now. In just it's just a matter of a couple of years and uh, that's it and you know when you know something is dead there's no real point in using and optimizing for it because you'll have to like move your complete systems away from that in a couple of years so most of the people are like you know if you read a lot of articles on on this particular topic i, I don't see any person who's actually happy with this decision but yes here we are so Rocky Linux, as of now, it's just a name, you know, if you visit this repository, you're not going to see anything except for a readme file and a, and a sort of obviously readme, but in different languages. Do we have a Hindi language here? I guess not. But anyway, um, that's that's the deal, right? So now this would be sort of our savior, maybe. But again, there's no code commits yet. There's no plan of action out yet. But this is a sort of a project which has been started by the founder of CentOS. So that's, that's a huge um, sort of validation that this is going to be a well-maintained or sort of a project which will get traction, right? And which will get spotlights at least. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you liked it, you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one.